I've talked about how you can use a variable resistor in the last video to adjust the brightness of your light or, or your loudspeaker. Now, wouldn't it be nice if, uh, if you can somehow make this happen automatically so that when the say uh, when it goes dark the lights will switch on and when it when the sun comes out the light will switch off this will be really useful uh, for say street lights for example so let me talk about how we might actually be able to do this But before that, uh, let me just uh, let me just uh, finish up this part. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot the ER for low speaker in the last video. So let me just finish up this part by saying that um, there is actually a circuit symbol to represent a variable resistor. The symbol is just that of a resistor with an arrow across it so next time if you want to show a resistor that you can adjust uh, maybe like this kind just you can just use a circuit uh, symbol like this All right so let's now think about our automatic uh, light switch So I have a battery here. Um, okay, uh, uh, I have a resistor as before, and then I have another resistor. But we we know that if if I use a variable resistor here. I can, by adjusting the resistance, adjust the, the voltage um, across it. But what I really need now, what I really need now is um, a special resistor, a special resistor that can automatically change its resistance. Right, wouldn't it be nice if uh, I have a resistor here that when it gets dark the resistance would increase so that the voltage across across it increases and when it gets when the sun comes out when it gets bright the voltage here would decrease so so that um, the light connected across here would switch off for example this is connected to some lights Uh, maybe I'll, I'll just make this a bit more explicit so it could be a light bulb connected around here for example now uh, that sounds like magic or wishful thinking but in fact in fact there is something in fact this kind of device exists and we can actually buy them. Uh, don't think they're too expensive. They are called light sensitive resistor or in short LDR. What is it? What is this? How does it work really? Right, let me try and draw this, draw something. Now it would it might look something like this, depending I'm sure on 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 uh, who who makes it, who, depending on the manufacturer. But a quick search on Google uh, using the word light sensitive res resistor, and I found uh, a few pictures that look something like that. They, there are two pieces of wire coming out of a of a small 
piece of circular piece of uh, thing and on that thing is a pattern that looks like this a pattern that looks like this and according to according to Wikipedia the material used to make this pattern uh, can be uh, uh, there can be a few a few different types but one example is something called cadmium sulfide cadmium sulfide now so apparently when light falls on this cadmium sulfide the resistance of this material decreases and in the dark when there is no light the resistance increases but that has something to do with the fact that the cadmium sulfide is a kind of semiconductor and uh, uh, that means that it has a uh, very little conduction electron but that but that in the presence of light the light will stimulate more uh, conduction electrons due to uh, electrons to break free from from the, the atoms okay, and with more conduction electrons it becomes uh, more conducting and therefore the resistance drops in the presence of light okay so now to get a better idea um, about how the resistance changes with lighting condition let me let me try and sketch a graph to to illustrate to, to show this now I'm not very familiar with uh, the units used for measuring brightness so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to do it in a very very pictorial way suppose that the horizontal uh, axis is the brightness Now I'm not defining a, a, a unit or a quantity here. I'm just using a vague uh, idea, just to just to uh, show show how the resistance might vary. Okay. I'm just going to say that um, uh, here down here. Is when it is dark. And down here is when this LDR is in the sun, in bright sunlight. Okay, so in between, in between, um, when it's in total darkness, now it it does depend on on um, the model, but Typically, right, typically, the resistance um, when it's in total darkness is of the order of a few mega ohms. And, uh, that's in units of ohms. Okay, we understand ohms. So the big M here means mega, and mega means one million. So when it's in the sun. When it's in the sun, the resistance drops because it becomes a lot more conducting, um, more conduction electrons probably, and the resistance could drop to maybe below a hundred ohms. So I, I'm just going to take it as about a hundred ohms, okay? And in between, uh, there must be a graph of some sort. Probably some curve, and that's what we might imagine uh, of a graph of the LDR resistance against brightness. Uh, but for for my example, uh, I mainly want to uh, use this graph to uh, illustrate two points. One is the the, the more obvious point that. Um, when it gets dark, the resistance increases, and when it gets bright, the resistance decreases. Now, the other point is, is the typical values. Um, 
very very rough values when it is dark it's of the order of mega ohms millions of ohms and in brightness is it might be 100 ohms or less so i'm going to use these two numbers for my for my example here um, to, to show what kind of uh, how we might calculate the voltage coming out to say a light bulb uh, in the dark and in the sun okay so coming back to, to this example now um, there is actually a, a circuit symbol for LDR uh, this rectangular box here is used for a, a simple resistor uh, which is fixed for an LDR we would simply add two arrows next to it and I guess the two arrows means light falling on it okay, so that's the symbol circuit symbol for an LDR well, let's try and do some calculations to, to to be more familiar with how this works suppose that this um, voltage here is 1.5 volts and I have just a simple light bulb uh, just a small maybe torch light bulb that doesn't require the mains electricity so 1.5 volts will do will we'll light it up now um, okay so let's say this this other resistance that I have is I'm just going to pick a value maybe 10k 10 kilo ohms that would be 10,000 ohms and what I like to do what I like to do now is to calculate so calculate the voltage across the light when it is dark and when it is bright. So I'm going to let the voltage across the 10k resistor be V1 and the voltage across the light bulb be V2. Okay. Now Suppose that um, suppose that we are we are in the dark right now. Okay. So just I'll just take this as an example. But what happens in the dark? When we are in the dark, um, suppose that the resistor of this is one mega ohm. Okay, so that would be one mega ohm. I now want to calculate V2. Right. So let me do that. As we know from uh, the idea of, of, of potential divider, this 1.5 volts would be divided between these two resistors in the ratio of the resistances, uh, meaning 1 mega ohm to 1 kilo. kilo ohm. So let me write down this ratio. V2, so V2 is V2 to V1, this ratio is equal to 1 mega ohm to 1 kilo ohm. So let, let's write this down. 1 mega is um, 1 million. So that's 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Okay, there we are, 6 zero. And 1 kilo ohm, kilo is a thousand. So 10 kilo ohm would be 1 followed by 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. Let me simplify that. You know, we have lots of zeros here. There are 4 zeros here. There are 6 zeros here. Therefore, this simplifies to um, 100 is to 1. Okay. I can now calculate um, I can now calculate uh, the the voltage, the voltage voltage V two. So since one point five volt is given to V two according to to this ratio in which um, V two is the one hundred parts, V one just take one part of it. Therefore, V two V two is equal to 
100 over 100 plus 1 times plus 1 times the 1.5 volts. We can use a calculator to calculate this accurately, but I'm just going to get get an approximate value. Uh, I just need need a, a, an idea of how this works. So I'm going to say that um, one one is a lot smaller than 100. So the the bottom here is about 100, and 100 over 100 is one. So my answer is approximately 1.5 volts. So that's what happens in the dark. And so in the dark, I have nearly the full 1.5 volts across the light bulb. So the light will light up. Okay. So let me write down this result. The I will get light. Uh, okay. Not that, that. Um, let me write it this way. I will get light will come on right the light will come on that's right okay now let's see what happens uh, when i put this in the sun let's say that it was dark maybe at night or when i put it in a dark room let me now take this out into the sun okay in the sun in the sun now when it goes in the sun um the LDR, this, this light sensitive resistor, drops in resistance to about 100 ohms. Say. So instead of 1 mega ohm, it is now 100 ohms. So if I now want to calculate the voltage across the light bulb again, I have a new ratio, okay, V2 to V1, V2 to V1 is equal to let's see, 100 to 10K, that's 100 to 10,000, and this is equal to 1 is to 100. And if you compare this with the previous ratio, you see that the ratio is reversed. Instead of 100 to 1, I now have 1 is to 100. So you, you can expect that um, it would mean a big change to V2. Let me calculate V2 now. V2 is now equal to... Now V2 is now just one part out, out of the 100 plus 1. So 1 over 100 plus 1 times 1.5 volts. And once again, I'm, I just need a rough answer for this. So this is approximately, if I say that the denominator is roughly 100, then 1.5 divided by 100 would be 0 0.015. So this is a much smaller voltage okay much smaller voltage than before and with this very small voltage just you know just one percent of, of the full voltage of the battery the lights we would expect that, that the lights uh, would not light up or would be extremely extremely dim so uh, for practical purpose, the light would just be dark, All right? So, so in fact, the light has switched off. So now we have our automatic light switch. Um, you know, at night, right? If I if I let's say I, I put this outside uh, the house. Uh, assuming that it doesn't get stolen, then at night, 
the light will come on. In the day when the sun comes out, the light will switch off.